So this is a. Uh, I'm sorry, I've I've been kind of busy lately, so I uh, didn't have time to upload anything. Uh, I didn't do much on it. I did a few things though. I uh, I cleaned this vacuum pump, this turbo pump, uh, much better. I re-greased all the fittings. I also added this tiny little water pump to cool it. And then uh, on the on the, the spectrometer itself, right now it's just degassing. It doesn't. It's just the first pump. The turbo pump is not on. Uh, I re I changed the main body. It was uh, it was too long. It was too fragile. It was uh, it was cracking and breaking uh, all the time. That's why it took me so long because I had to get it redone every time. Also, uh, I kind of I kind of screwed up <coughs> the the filament, the heating element here. It's just uh, it's a pathetic job, but. Uh, in the front end, I got some nice little electron stream coming out of this. So, yeah, the glass is dirty. But, um, if you have any suggestions, uh, an idea for the detector, this is not really a detector. All it is, by the way, is just this, uh, these discs. These are uh, zinc sulfite. They're supposed to be used for alpha detections in conjunction with the uh, uh, PMT. Or, photomultiplier too so they shine they glow when hit with uh, with alpha or electrons they're pretty cheap I'm mean, gonna have three of them like 10 20 bucks or something um, what would be great for the detection though is to use a uh, <coughs> use this uh, uh, a multi-channel analyzer you know in the, so then so then it could be Amplified and computerized and we can have a nice little peak Going for each element. So anyway, let me know what you think and uh, We'll keep this project going. It's, uh, it's, it's been a long time And I want to see this through I'm Tired of fixing vacuum problems. I did get it down uh, pretty low uh, Earlier But this this is where I should be 9.7 to the minus 6 store. This is this is Really good quality vacuum.